Welcome back to our Let's Play of Mass Effect 2, uh, Legendary Edition. Uh, last time we left off, we had uh, gotten the good doctor, uh, I've already forgotten his name, the, our Solarian doctor over there, Morden. Uh, we need to go back to that station for Archangel, uh, but uh, let's talk to everybody first. Shepard, how can I help? Have you got a minute to talk? Of course. Plague on Omega dealt with plenty of time to analyze collector intelligence. Impressive laboratory setup. Missed working for operations with a budget. AI in particular, very helpful. Best setup I've seen since work with Special Tasks Group. Is your assistant Daniel settling in all right? Quite well. Safe and secure. Neighborhood mostly quiet with Plague gone. Left him the security mechs just in case. Can't be too careful. Also tired of mechs. Noisy. Never used them in STG. Is your assistant Daniel settling in all oh, right? Sorry. Quite well. Sa Left him the security mechs just in case. Can't be too careful. Also tired of mechs. Noisy. You said you were in the special tasks group. What kind of research were you doing? Not simply research. Several recon missions. Covert, high risk, served under young captain named Kirihi. Studied Krogan genophage, took water, tissue samples from Krogan colonies. I worked with an SDG captain named Kirihi. His team helped me destroy Saren's cloning facility on Vermeer. Heard he was part of that. Jury rigged explosive. Always got job done with limited resources. Good captain. Bit of a cloaca, though. Loved his speeches. Hold the line. Personally prefer to get job done and go home. <laughs> Probably military bravado. Jargon. Chest pounding. Uh, no offense. Right. Why would STG <clears throat> study the genophage? Krogan rebellion's bloody. Dangerous. Nearly as bad as rachni attacks. All species evolve. Adapt. Mutate. If genophage weakens, need to be prepared. What was the STG preparing to do? Military schematics for likely Krogan population growth. Political scenarios for attack points. Genophage reduced Krogan numbers. Species aggression unchecked. Population explosion would be disastrous. STG helped check Krogan rebellions. Needed to be ready to do the same. Simple recon. Nothing to worry about. Okay. What can you tell me about the genophage? Bioweapon designed by Solarian science team. Deployed by Turians against Krogans to end Krogan rebellions more than a thousand years ago. Affects every cell of Krogan body. Commonly and incorrectly considered a sterility plague. Actually adjusts viable fertility rates to compensate for high Krogan birth rate. Stabilizes to pre-industrial population growth levels. Interesting. Nice talking with you, Morden. I should get back to work. Need to study. So much data. Here if you need me. Is there anything else you want to talk about? Shepard, how can I help? Is the lab working well? <coughs> Quite satisfactory. Found a few surveillance bugs. Destroyed most of them. Returned expensive one to Miranda. Nothing unexpected. Just need more samples. More collector data, tissue samples, anything you can get, I can use. Find new tech. Okay. Any ideas on other ways to prepare for the collectors? Ideas, yes. Expensive, but possibly valuable. Can show you. Okay. No ship enhancements yet. Assault rifle damage up. Med gel capacity up. No armor. I think it's a 20% tech damage, power damage. More built his own army tool and the significant upgrades. Interesting. Let's do that. Shepard, how can I help? Are there any medical concerns I should be aware of on the team? Cerberus personnel in excellent condition. No squad concerns to report. Always some matters, but nothing affecting immediate mission. Any ideas on other Sorry, ways? Sorry, have done what I can. Focusing on studying collector tech now. Okay. I'll let you work. We'll be here if you need me. So you can only do one at a time, I see. Probably wouldn't have known that if I'd actually read the, uh, the thing, but that's okay. Alright. Alright. Let's, uh... No 
nothing in here. Let's talk to Jacob. Commander, can I help you with something? I'm more interested in just talking for a bit. Sounds good. Have to say you run this ship tight, and we're getting things done. <clears throat> you keep on track and maybe we'll figure this out. I hope so. I'm not looking forward to the debrief if it all goes to hell. Is there something specific? Or are you just checking in? I like to know my crew. Forget procedure. Tell me about yourself. Informal, huh? Everything's in my file. Ex-Alliance like you, no Reapers or anything, but I got swept under the rug too. The more good you do, the less they want to admit that something needed doing. You look like you came through no worse for wear. If nothing else, the Alliance trains their people well. Once you live that life, you can't sit around getting fat. You know how it goes. Although I bet Cerberus put you back together better than ever. Get any upgrades? <laughs> I'm glad enough they restored me to stock. Couldn't hurt to keep some spare parts handy, though. I hear that. Your job isn't getting any safer. You know, I used to wonder what the big deal with you was. But now that we're in deep, I'm glad it's not me in the spotlight. There's no hiding, Jacob. Not for any of us. Don't worry. This is exactly what I signed on for. If that's all, Commander, I'll get back to my duties. There's a lot to get ready. Yeah. Commander, can I help you with something? Uh. <clears throat> what do you think of the state of the crew? Well, we don't have a full complement. Anything else, before. Commander? Uh. How are we doing, Jacob? What's your if sense Morden's of modifications hold up, we've got a shot. <coughs> if they don't, we're dead. Seems like that was always a strong possibility, though. Anything else, Commander? Any thoughts on how to prepare against the Collectors? They spec this ship to the original Normandy, but you were there. The Collectors cut her like butter. This armor just isn't top of the line anymore. People will die if we don't upgrade. Alliance had some new toys in Secret Dev before I left. I could try and pull a few favors. Cool. Uh, armor, ship enhancements. That's what I want. Heavy ship armor. Sorry, mate. Solaris armor. Upgrade is attached to the ship's substructure. So it'll help, help the ship hold together if hit by a blast powerful enough to penetrate its shields. Probably do that. Let me see this. <clears throat> Person's ritual, you must pay the specific amount of repairs. You then gain the upgrade described in front of and the upgrade moves to the upgrade section of this research ship. Doesn't say how often I can do this. I need a bunch of. I need palladium for that. Can I do another one, Commander? With you, or is it also something? Any thoughts on how to prepare against the collector? We've got the best armor available. The rest is outside. We'll my talk later. All right, Commander. Cool. Heavy ship armor. Right here. Let's check out crew quarters. <coughs> we'll go to my cabin last. How may I help you, Commander? I have a present for you, Doc. Sarah's ice brandy. You didn't. <laughs> Thank you. I always regretted not opening that original bottle when I still could. I won't make the same mistake again. Why don't we open this bottle right here, right now, you and me? You crack open the bottle. I'll get the glasses. <laughs> I thought Olenko's biotic display might have broken Jenkins' back, but Jenkins pops up and yells, That was awesome! Oh, Jenkins. Soldiers like him make the Alliance great. Cerberus lacks the same enthusiasm. With your service record, you could have gotten a tour of duty on any Alliance ship. Why'd you really leave? Maybe it's less about leaving and more about staying. As a military doctor, I mostly treat people who are in bad shape. Often they die. And if I can help them, they move on. 
Either way, they leave. Don't you have any friends or family? No, not lacking friendship. Just stability. Jeff, Joker will always have Rolex syndrome. He would never admit it, but he needs my help, and he always will. I wish it weren't, but sadly, it's true. You're the ornery bastard who flies this ship. The best fighter jockey to ever take to the sky. Alright. <sighs> I'm drunk. <laughs> you okay? I'm slipping it off. Alright. Access to the AI core is right. restricted. Anyone else to talk to over here? Did I get anything for this guy? How can I help you, Commander? You have everything you need. If you happen to find any of those supplies on the list I gave you, it would be much appreciated. All right, he wanted stuff work. from the Citadel. That's closed. Hey, Miranda. Commander, what can I do for you? You have a minute, Miranda? Of course. I'm just finishing an operation report. I'm impressed, Shepard. So far, things have gone exceptionally well. As Cerberus operations go, this is one of the best I've been a part of. Huh. Maybe that's because this isn't a Cerberus operation. Not to you, maybe. But I report directly to the elusive man. And I'm here because he wants me to be. Cerberus gave you a second chance, Commander. Maybe you should do the same for us. Cerberus obviously has your loyalty. How did you get involved with them? I suppose you've earned the right to know. Do you remember when I told you how I was genetically altered? Well, that wasn't my choice. My father created me. He's a very influential man and extremely controlling. He didn't want a daughter. He wanted a dynasty. I ran away as soon as I was old and brave enough. I went to Cerberus because I knew they could protect me. Oh. How bad were the terms you and your father parted on? Shots were fired. You seem capable of defending yourself. Why did you need Cerberus? My father invested a great deal in his dynasty. It wasn't a matter of just leaving. I knew he would continue to pursue his investments. I assume that Cerberus approves of your <coughs> abilities? Of course. Cerberus fully endorses anything that advances the cause of humanity. Genetic alterations included. But unlike my father and his own selfish reasons, Cerberus and the elusive man believe in a greater good. They see the bigger picture, and I feel like I have a purpose here. You talk about yourself like you're just a tool to be used. By your father? By Cerberus? Maybe. I like to know where I fit in the world. It helps me find meaning in how I was created. You are who you are, Miranda. You don't need to make excuses for it. That's easy for you to say. We've both been engineered for greatness, Shepard. The difference is, you were great before we rebuilt you. I'm great because of it. Your spirit and personality are what make you great. It's what makes anyone great. That's kind of you. I'm not sure I believe you, but thanks for saying it. Who exactly is your father? A businessman, but a very wealthy one. It's ironic, my father believed deeply in a human positive agenda. He donated generously to Cerberus before I joined them. That's how I first heard about Cerberus, through my father's connections. You talk about yourself like you're just a tool to be no. used. Maybe. But you like are who you are. That's it. The difference is, you were great before we rebuilt you. You've told I me know. a lot about your father. What happened to your mother? I never had one. Most of my genetic material is based on my father's tissue. His Y chromosome was altered with an amalgam of desired traits from various sources. How arrogant can you be? The man is completely egomaniacal. Just another reason I had to get away from him. Uh. Thanks for your time, Miranda. I'll talk to you later. <laughs> Any time, Commander. Commander, what can I do for you? Have you got any ideas for potential upgrades we could make? A few ideas, yeah. Here, take a look. Okay. <coughs> Advanced Mineral Scanner. Costs 15,000 Iridium, which I can afford. The 
Andro um, yeah, Android uh, Group's proprietary Argus Planet scan technology has been integrated into the SHIST system. This will greatly speed up the planet's scanning process. Let's go for it. Commander. Anything else? What can I do for you? Anything I should know regarding the Normandy? The crew's working well, and the ship appears to be performing to specifications. I'll Good. let you work. Of course, Commander. All right. Where do you take a sh Oh, this is just an office, that's right. But you have a bath, or you have a... Have a, uh... Have a, uh, bed in here. All right, can't go there, can't go there, can't go there. I can go here. That's the women's restroom. Don't want to make the same mistake again. Just too dangerous for them in New Canton. I'm shipping my family back to Earth. You can afford that? Cerberus looks out for their own. They're funding the transport for me. It's the least they can do when we're putting our lives on the line. Hmm. Alright. Anyone in the men's room? Nope. Anyone I could see in the women's room? Nope. <laughs> it really sounded wrong. Anyone I can spot from the doorway of the... Well, whatever. You know what I mean. Interesting. see anything here. Blood pack helmet? Beauty, isn't it? Pride that off the Krogan warlord, Kazak. Used to run the blood pack out of Omega about 17 years ago. Interesting. Wasn't even a job. The guy just thought he'd hijack a freighter I was hitchhiking on. Big mistake. I goaded Gizak into one-on-one -on -one combat. Took out his legs, grabbed his gun, and killed every blood pack bastard in the room. That was the most beaten Krogan I've ever seen. Kept the helmet to remind me of that pained expression. Now you're a pleasant fellow, aren't you? All right. Thinking about past missions. <laughs> Got a minute. You might learn something. I was trying to remember how many Cerberus operatives I've killed. Lost track around 50. Guess your elusive man's big on forgiveness. Get a knife stuck in the right way, and you can pull that plate right off a Krogan's head. It's the best way to get a Krogan to talk. The threat of it drives him mad. I'll keep that in mind. I should let you go. Talk more later, Shepard. The garbage compactor. Okay. Is there any point to this? Probably like this thing. Probably just uh, for uh, for funsies. Everybody down here. Probably not yet. Nope, no one yet. That. 
Hey guys, I got something for you. The new armor reinforcements really threw off the gravimetric profile. <sighs> but engines are good to go. I rebalanced the Gilborn coefficients and adjusted the anterior intakes on the second tier stabilizers. I love it when you talk dirty. <laughs> You're the best, Commander. We just got those FBA couplings installed. Now we only have to calibrate every week instead of every day. We're thinking about celebrating our newfound free time with some Skillion 5 poker. Want to join us? Come on, Kenneth. The commander doesn't want to play cards with grease monkeys like us. Actually. Actually, that sounds interesting. Fantastic. I'll get the cards. Remember, I'm your boss. My Skellion 5's a bit rusty. You'll be easy on the rookie, right? Of course, Commander. It's all friendly. Yeah, right. You want 500 credits. Oh. Be gentle on the rookie. I can't believe we fell for that. It's so worth losing to see you taken down a notch. Beat me up my own game. <laughs> You're all right, Shepard. What can we do for you, Commander? Uh. Carry on. Well do, Commander. Alrighty. That's closed. Alright. All that's left is to check out my cabin and uh, talk to everybody on the main floor. Some machine guns and a heavy pistol. Assault rifles and sniper rifles. Cool. Glad I didn't sign up. Hey, Aria gave me this uh, address. I think you met at the Afterlife Omega. You stopped me from joining up with those mercs who were trying. Oh, this guy. And I was so pissed off at you. I was blind drunk that night and. It was a few days later uh, before I got enough. Uh, I got it together enough to check the news vids and saw almost all the mercs got killed by Archangel. I don't know who you are or if you got out there alive yourself, but thanks. I feel real stupid when I heard about the body count uh, and how I could have been a part of it. I'll make the most of it. Uh, most of what you did for me, John Whitston. Oh yes, the facial scars. Please, tell me about those. I've done further investigation regarding your facial scarring and the old adage of mind over matter holds true. Negative attitudes and aggressive acts create adverse reactions to your cybernetic implants, while peaceful thoughts and compassionate actions promote healing. If you maintain a positive outlook, I believe your facial scarring will heal on its own. Otherwise, surgical equipment we could use to insulate your Seven-night inputs and accelerate your healing regardless of your mental outlook. I've updated plans and meta, uh, new medical equipment research terminal in your tech lab. Okay. How do I, uh... Change the appearance of stuff in here. Sorry about that. <coughs> oh well. What's this area of the ship? This is the commanding officer's quarters. It's larger than the quarters of other warships I've served on. This is a Cerberus vessel. 
not an Alliance warship. Accommodations have been made for personal taste. That said, this space is directly under the exterior pressure hall. The fitting yard workers called it the loft. Alright. Back to the combat information center. I already talked to you. Commander, you've received a new message at your private terminal. Earlier when we spoke, you were very open with me. I like that. But I hope I didn't come across as too flirty. I don't want to overstep my bounds. You're very charming, Kelly. Thank you. The feeling is mutual. Anyway, how may I help you, Commander? Is there anything I should know? Nothing right now. Anything else, Commander? Do you have a moment to talk? I always have time for you, Commander. Eh, I think I already How do you feel this. about being assigned to the I world? was handpicked by the elusive man to help fight. How do I feel? But mostly I feel encouraged. Under your leadership, Don't worry. I trust you implicitly. The moment I met you, I knew I could close my I eyes. I might do more than catch you, Kelly. Now that's an enticing thought. Anything else you'd like to talk about? I better go. Okay. Maybe we'll talk later. Alright, I already got everything. <coughs> Let's see if Joker has anything new to say. Commander. I assume everything is going well up here? I really want a chance to put the Normandy through her paces. I just have to trim up the drive output and it'll be like we never lost her. Safety standards advise against manipulating drive settings while engines are powered and in use, Mr. Moreau. Commander, can we shut this thing off? I don't need it in my day-to-day. -day. <laughs> if you don't want to hear it, turn the damn sound off. Well, it doesn't change anything. It's still watching. Like some creepy kid staring at the back of your head in comp side. You just want to punch him, but he's special and he sets fires or something. Okay, a little too far there, but you know what I mean. Yeah. Your problem, not mine. Thanks. I'll remember this. <laughs> so, how do you think we're doing? <clears throat> Normandy's not as ready as she could be. There's always more we could upgrade. And as for the crew, you'd have to ask a, a people person. What do you think about the people we're picking up? Well, about the ones you went out with last... I would never say anything against Miranda, and expect to survive the reprisal. Jacob is way too nice a guy for the number of ways he knows how to kill people. It's just my opinion, though. There's really no need to go spreading it around. Ever think about the old Normandy and the trouble we got up to? <laughs> yeah, those seem like the good old days now, but come on, it, it was hell at the time. Geth, Saren, Sovereign, and then we got dumped. We're stuck in a weird place, sure, but back then it wasn't all sunshine and bunnies. <laughs> What happened to the rest of the old crew? I heard most survived. Almost did. Presley didn't. And the rest of us just sort of drifted apart. The Alliance didn't care. I don't think they liked all the non-humans in your crew. We were your team, Commander. With the Normandy destroyed and you gone, there wasn't much keeping us together. That's it for now. See you, Commander. Yes, Shepard. I want to know more about you. Do you have a specific inquiry? What do you do aboard the ship? I operate the ship's electronic and cyber warfare suites in combat. My reaction time is I collate the records of sh I serve additional functions which are restricted at this time. Let's discuss something Ready. else. I want to know more about you. Do you have a you. specific inquiry? How are you getting along with Joker? Mr. Moreau does not trust me. <laughs> it offends him that I am installed aboard his ship's computers. Yeah, the last Normandy did just fine without an AI reminding me the airlock is ajar. <laughs> Why are you named Edie? Edie is the phonetic pronunciation of E-D-I. That is an acronym for Enhanced Defense Intelligence. Where are you? My core intelligence is housed in a quantum blue box located behind the medical bay. All right. Let's discuss something Ready. else. That's all for now. Logging you out, Shepard. All right. I think we're ready to move on. And by move on, I mean go back to where we were. 
Still gotta get an Archangel. Archangel? It's an Arc or Arch? Let's bring Warden and yeah. Zeep. Uh, let's see. You know, let's get your mercenary rank all the way up. Mercenary Warlord or Mercenary Commando. For knowledge weapons, damage go further. See its survival, effective health. So I can increase his, I can increase his health and weapon damage. The question is, do I want more weapon damage or do I want more health? Let's go with more weapon damage. And more. Let's do the same with you. <clears throat> Further increase the strength of his shields. This is weapon damage. For you, I'm going to actually do shields. <clears throat> you can have the pistol. Alright, let's go, guys. Judging by the quarantine reports, the plague has been completely eradicated, Shepard. Dr. Solis's assistant has been helping any patients with complications. Excellent. Knew he could do it. I have also accessed messages between mercenary groups regarding plans to deal with the Archangel. There's a recruiting station at Afterlife that may have information on him. I already been there. Come on, let me in. <clears throat> let's see, where am I going? <coughs> Excuse me. Let's go this way. Are you expecting me? Oh. I guess we'll go to the mercenary uh, recruiter. Let's see if there's any upgrades. Before your shields return right back. Okay. Look at these cheaper ones. Explorer ships have reported seeing vessels of an unknown make, but whose silhouette strongly resembles ancient Ragnar ship profiles. The few ships sighted have been small scouting vessels that rapidly retreated. The Council has pledged a full investigation. Uh stimulator conduits. Destroy before shields regenerate. Got a lot of those. Fears of an uncontrolled plague in the streets of Omega have been laid to rest as the disease is now under control.
Where am I headed? Vorcha down there. You know anything about this? Dead Vorcha? No. Don't know anything about that. Uh huh. Right. Well, my job just got a whole lot easier. What's your job here exactly? I'm supposed to keep the Vorcha in line, keep them out of Arya's sight. That's about it. Not much for me to do anymore. But the way those Vorcha breed, I'll have something to do soon enough. Oh. There's an awful lot of Vorcha here. What are they planning? Vorcha? Plan? <laughs> They're a pestilence, nothing more. If they started planning, we'd all be in big trouble. Huh. I'll just be going. Keep up the good work. I don't know what you're talking about. Okay. It's this guy, right? I'm on the mission. I hope you're ready. Archangel's been annihilating you freelancers. Ready when you are. Get in. Okay. So what is this new thing I got? Black hole gun. Nearby as they're shown inward. Oh, this could uh, pull people out of a. Uh... Huh. Cool. Well, let's, let's see how he works with the new. Uh... With the with the old one before we switch to the new one. <clears throat> it's about time they sent me someone who looks like they can actually fight. They tell you what we're up against. The recruiter was a little vague. We wouldn't get many hires if everyone knew the truth. Archangel's holed up in a building at the end of the boulevard over there. He's got superior position, and the only way in is over a very exposed bridge. It's a killing ground, but he's getting tired, making mistakes. We'll have him soon enough. You guys have a plan? A small team is waiting to infiltrate his hideout, but we need to draw Archangel's fire so they can move in. And that's where we come in? Exactly. You'll be on a distraction team. Head straight over the bridge and keep Archangel busy so the infiltration team can sneak in behind Seems like a bad idea. That's got to have suicide. Pretty much. But you look like you can handle it. Head up to the boulevard and get to the third barricade. Talk to Sergeant Kathka. He'll tell you when to go in. All right. So the bridge is the only way to his hideout. <laughs> exactly. Archangel collapsed all the underground passageways and sealed the doors to the lower levels. We've got teams digging, but it's taking too long. If they can get the gunship flying again, that'll help. But I'm hoping the infiltration team will finish the job and we can all go home. They were using a gunship to take out one guy? Yeah, and Archangel shut it down. He didn't destroy it, but he knew just where to hit it to disable it. It wasn't even a fair fight. At least not for us. Where's the infiltration team now? On the far side of the bridge near his hideout. But they can't get any closer without being seen. How'd they get that close without being seen? More distractions. Tarek used a gunship to keep Archangel busy. We were able to sneak a few men into his hideout before he took it down, but they're stuck there. We need to keep Archangel focused on the bridge, so he doesn't find them and wipe them out. What do you know about Archangel? I'm the wrong guy to ask. I just do logistics. Tarek and the other Merc bosses have been dealing with him for a while now. But don't be surprised if they're not thrilled about talking to a freelancer. I better go find Sergeant Kathka. Good idea. Watch yourself on the boulevard. Archangels killed dozens out there already. Okay. In's gonna be easy. Out's gonna be a bitch. 
Let's find him first. Then we'll figure out how to get back. Mm -hmm. Okay. What are we looking at? Don't have a map again. We never have a map lately. Shepard, I've scanned the area, but I am unable to plot any other paths to Archangel. Guess we're going with the Mercs. The heavy mechs and gunship possess considerable firepower. Weakening them before leaving will improve your chances. Okay. So I gotta disable the uh, the uh, the guys coming going after him without being noticed. As the first wave goes in, the infiltration team will attempt to take Archangel by surprise. Okay. I don't expect much from the freelancers. When they fail, we are up next. The light mechs go in first. If that's not enough, <sighs> we send in the heavy. Be prepared. Do you need something? You lead the Eclipse? You figure that out by yourself? I'm Jareth. I run Omega's Eclipse. What do you need, Freelancer? So the infiltration team is the main focus of the attack? Tarek's plan, not mine. He doesn't want to lose any more men, so he's throwing you Freelancers at the problem. Archangel's not going anywhere, so I suppose there's no harm in trying. Who knows? Maybe you'll get lucky. So you're just gonna hide here while the Freelancers get killed? Precisely. You're paid to be a distraction. Nothing more. Whether you survive or not is up to you. Why are Eclipse on Omega in the first place? Since you care so much, Eclipse controls almost 20% of Omega. Our transports and mechs keep the Ezo moving. Sounds very organized. Eclipse runs like a well-oiled machine, but Omega is anything but organized. It's a constant battle for control. Then Archangel comes along and complicates things even more. Why does Archangel give you so much trouble? Ask him. I'm just here to make as much money as I can. We didn't come to Omega to be constrained by laws and regulations. He'll regret ever coming to Omega, I promise you. Seems like this is personal for you. He raided one of my transports last month, killed two of my best operatives. One of them was my brother, so yes, it's pretty damn personal. <laughs> what do you know about Archangel? His life expectancy is shortening quickly. Is that it? Nobody seems to know anything about him. Look around, you'll learn what you need to know. He's smart, he's resourceful, and he's dangerous. But we've got him cornered. He won't be making fools of us much longer. Can I assist you further? Where did he come from? Who is he? Even his team didn't know that. Maybe we'll know more once we have his body. Of course, it really won't matter then. I'll get going. Good idea. All right. Spoke to um, Garm. And he and his men are on board. Assuming this operation is successful, we can count on high morale and extensive buy-in from the men. Uh, from the losses we've already taken, possibility exists that we won't have the men needed to continue the next objective. It's clear, though, that none of the organizations would be ready to move on Arya without any assistance of the other two. Interesting. They're thinking of moving on Arya, huh? I'm going to have to bring that to her. Seems like a foolish thing to leave laying around, but okay. Uh, this way? Oh, Max. <clears throat> Two blue. Green, green, blue. Okay. That should slow him down. Nice. Anyone who activates that thing will get blown the hell up. Friend or foe.
Okay. So, okay. You're in the wrong place, freelancer. You the blood pack leader? Name's Garm. That's all you need to know. I'm stuck here waiting till you freelancers are done playing war. Ask your questions and go. When did the blood pack attack? Damn Tarek wants us to wait. I hate waiting. But he says the Suns have a plan, and they don't want us getting in their way. Huh. We're supposed to wait until the Eclipse send their mechs. We'll see. Why are the blood pack on Omega? We're the muscle on this bloody station. You need protection or want someone removed, <laughs> talk to us. The blood pack are everywhere on Omega. Everybody loves us, and everybody hates us. I'm guessing Archangel mostly just hates you. He's just an uptight asshole. I don't really care what he thinks. But he's costing me men, and making me work for my money. I'll be the one to take him out today. You watch. I'm the only one who's fought him one-on-one. -on -one. Oh. What do you know about Archangel? He's a pain in the ass. He's a Turian, a which Turian, makes him huh? slightly worse to look at than you. And he's brave, till he realizes you're more than he bargained for. Sounds like you've had personal experience. He tried to take me down once, waited till I was alone. Longest damn fight of my life, but I held him off till my men showed up. He wasn't so tough after that. We chased him over half of Omega. Almost had him, but the slippery bastard snuck away before we could pin him down. I should get going. About time. He thinks he's tough, but he's not so tough when we're outnumbering him ten to one. Uh. Excuse me? That's not the way I go. Leave us alone! I'll leave you alone! This is the way I go. Yeah. Green and then a purple. This should come in handy. Some machine gun damage. Bunch of credits. I'm looking for Sergeant Kafka. You and me both. <coughs> He's over there working on the gunship. We go over the bridge when he gives the word. Go talk to him if you want, but I'm in no hurry. I'll be right back. Good luck. Kafka? Sergeant Kafka. Uh, you must be the group Salki mentioned. You're just in time. Salki? You met him when you were dropped off. He radioed to say you were coming. You three kind of stand out from most of the other freelancers. Anyway, the infiltration team is about to give us a signal. Archangel won't know what hit him. Got any questions? This may be your last chance.
you gonna give us cover with the gunship? Huh. Tarek is the only one who flies her. Besides, she's not quite ready. That bastard Archangel gave her a beating last time she was out there. And a few more tweaks, she'll be as good as new. Why are you coordinating the attack and fixing gunships? I'm in the infiltration group. Our team coordinates with the gunship. I'm staying back to organize the freelancers and make sure the gunship's ready to go if we need her. So our plan is to jump the wall and head for Archangel's building? And try not to get killed too fast. You're only a distraction as long as you're alive. You don't have to make it all the way across. Just keep Archangel watching that bridge. The infiltration team will do the rest. How will the infiltration team get to Archangel? They've got two options. They trap them in close quarters and finish the bastard off face to face. If that doesn't work, they have explosives. They'll just need time to set up. So the bridge is the only way in? Until the gunship's working again or the blasters finish with the tunnels. Look, we got a plan. We don't need you trying to come up with any great ideas. Just do your damn job, collect your credits, and go home. Are you leading the assault? Ha! <laughs> Tarek doesn't pay me to fight. I just plan the attacks and fix the damn gunship. You freelancers get the privilege of... Target is in sight, where a go? Check. Bravo team, go, go, go! Archangel's got quite a surprise waiting for him. But that means no more waiting for me. <laughs> Gotta get her back to 100% before Tarek decides he needs her again. Where did I put that Omni tool? Didn't want the Renegade points. Archangel is in trouble. Not much time. What the hell are we waiting for? Tarion, all right. Come on, we'll give these guys a surprise of our own. Here they come. Disable this bomb. Oh. <laughs> Archangel. Shepard, I thought you were dead. Garrus, what are you doing here? Just keeping my skill sharp. A little target practice. So you okay? Been better, but it sure is good to see a friendly face. Killing mercs is hard work, especially on my own. What are you doing out here on Omega? I got fed up with all the bureaucratic crap on the Citadel. Figured I could do more good on my own. At least it's not hard to find criminals here. All I have to do is point my gun and shoot. How'd you manage to piss off every major Merc organization in the Terminus systems? It wasn't easy. I really had to work at it. <laughs> I am amazed that they teamed up to fight me. They must really hate me. Since when did you start calling yourself Archangel? It's just a name the locals gave me for all my good deeds. <laughs> I don't mind it, but please, it's uh, <clears throat> just Garrus to you. You nailed me good a couple of times, by the way. 
Concussive rounds only, no harm done. Didn't want the mercs getting suspicious. Uh-huh. If I wanted to do more than take your shields down, I'd have done it. Besides, you were taking your sweet time. I needed to get you moving. <laughs> well, we got here. But I don't think getting out will be as easy. No, it won't. That bridge has saved my life, funneling all those witless idiots into scope. But it works both ways. They'll slaughter us if we try to get out that way. Just waiting doesn't seem like a good option. Got any other suggestions? This place has held them off so far. And with three of you, I suggest we hold this location, wait for a crack in their defenses, take our chances. It's not a perfect plan, but it's a plan. How'd you let yourself get into this position? My feelings got in the way of my better judgment. It's a long story. I'll make you a deal. You get me out of here alive, and I'll tell you the whole damn thing. Deal. If we fight as a team, we'll hold them off. You're right. Their numbers won't help them in here anyway. Let's see what they're up to. Hmm. Looks like they know their infiltration team failed. Take a look. Scouts. Eclipse, I think. That looks like a lot more than scouts. Indeed. We better get ready. I'll stay up here. I can do a lot of damage from this vantage point. You... You can do what you do best. Just like old times, Shepard. Let's give these bastards... Burn nicely. I, I need to find more ammo. All right. 
want something done properly. All right, let's see how you handle this, Archangel. Go! Online! Problem should take care of itself. More ammo. Should burn through any armor. Just the thing to help. <clears throat> I am stuck. <clears throat> I feel oh, better. Sure. Uh, oh. I won't go down. Uh, yes, you will. Down you go. Takes care of Jareth. You're kicking ass, Shepard. They barely touched me. And we got Jareth in the process. I've been hunting that little bastard for months. Why were you after him? He's been shipping tainted Ezo all over Citadel space. Half the goods I seized back at CSEC came from his team here on Omega. I took out a big shipment a while back and killed his top lieutenant in the process. Not surprised he decided to work with the other mercs after that. We've still got Blood Pack and Blue Suns left. Think we can make a break for it? Maybe. Let's see what they're up to. <laughs> They've reinforced the other side heavily, but they're not coming over the bridge yet. What are they waiting for? Maybe I should have taken out that gunship. Sounds problematic. Damn it. They breached the lower level. Well, they had to use their brains eventually. You'd better get down there, Shepard. I'll keep the bridge clear. Let's split up two and two. Keep one of my team here. You sure? Who knows what you'll find down there? I'm sure. Morton, stay with Garrus. Keep him safe. We'll do what I can. Thanks, Shepard. You better get going. We're on our way. Go down a level. The basement door is on the west side of the main room behind the stairs. I'll radio directions if you need help, but you've got to get down there quick. Good luck. All right. So, we'll take care of that next time. Until then, thank you very much for watching. If you like this video, please give me a like. Share, comment, subscribe. It always helps me out. And as always, 
Have a good day, and take care.